Yes, Mr. Engelbrecht. That's the court, please. So, in conclusion, our instruction is testified by the applicant five and six that they have no reason to abscond and that they will come back in order to come and face the trial because they have no reason to believe that indeed you have a prima facie case against five and six. That is my instruction. Furthermore, as they already have testified, the whole instruction, that there's no reason for them to interfere with police investigations, as you have testified up to date that they've been finalized and that they would not interfere with any of the state witnesses as provided um, their your worship, it's not on objection. Uh, I just want to request for it to be broken down because I see there are now about four um, instructions that have been put at once to the witness. So for him to comment now, would he be commenting on all four at the same time? Perhaps if they cannot be put individually, then he comments individually as they are put, your lordship. My lord, sir, it's a fair request. I will instruct him from applicant five and six. that they will stand the trial, sir. It is a testimony for the instruction. Furthermore, I also hold instruction from applicant number five and six that they, they have no reason to abscond because there's no prima facie case. I will say there's a prima facie case against them. Furthermore, I also hold instruction from applicant number five and six that they would not interfere with state witnesses. Okay, that is a testimony. Furthermore, in conclusion, sir, I also hold instruction from applicant number five and six that they would not interfere with police investigations of which you informed us, told us, that is completed, sir. That is my instruction. That is a test the instruction, yes. <coughs> my Lord, sir. There is a cross-examination on behalf of applicant number five and six. No further questions. Uh, Your Lordship, it has been a lengthy cross-examination for almost two weeks. Um, I know there are some documents that have been referred to in cross-examinations that have also not been produced before court. Um, there are some things we'd want to rely on for purposes of re-examination, Your Lordship. Um, we just want to request for re-examination to take place at the next sitting of the court, but I'm sure we will be able to finalize that and the witness that we have in store will also testify at the next sitting, Your Lordship. Okay, um, it's just the, the modalities now. Mm -hmm. The documents that you want to re-examine on. You have them, you sort them out with your colleagues. Yes, I'll, I'll make extra copies. Uh, they are the ones who refer to the documents, but okay. it's, I'll make extra copies for... Oh, you everyone. have the documents already? Yes, Your Lordship. Okay. Uh, I, I think it's fair. Um, oh, sorry, let me hear the other colleagues what they are saying. Look, we have no difficulty. Look, though, uh, while I'm on my feet, may I place something on record now? Yeah. Lord, you'll recall when I was cross-examining <coughs> Mr. Kanyangelo, I raised with him in relation to Mr. Jesus, uh, Jason Imiambo that Mr. Imiambo had, in fact, been discharged yeah. on count one, and there was an objection from my learned friend. Now, I place on record, my lord, because it is something that comes up in this trial more and more. We were told, as part of the objection, that's not reflected in the record. The record was brought to me in one of the breaks. I showed it to my learned friends. And I said I would like to place it before your lordship because 
It was just after the end of my cross-examination. There was a break and then uh, I was told that they were unhappy about that. I am of the view that I should place on record before your Lordship and to the witness what the record actually reflects so that all the cross-examination on that issue is finalised. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bitugeti? As it is a court, your Lordship, um, has, when that issue was raised, I had actually requested for us to stand that issue down so that we can get the record mm -hmm. and ascertain from the record what in nature effect the record says. Yes, the record is now available. We also received the certified copy of the record. Um, there's no issue placing that before the witness because we are now certain, at least of what the record says, um, it was as it was put to the witness your lordship. There's no problem with that. Okay. Um, do we have a copy? Lord, I have a copy. Um, do you have a copy? Of my learned friends have a copy. They've had it all the time. <laughs> No, it's not correct to say we had it all the time. We received it the day we requested it when the issue was raised. Yeah, I'm asking, do you have a copy now? We do not have it here in court, Your Lordship, but it's now available it's in the office. Can, can we make copies of the relevant pages so that they... Mm. Yes, ma'am. Yes. <clears throat> is the court order here? Lord, is it sufficient if I make copies of we have what the first page of the court record in the Magistrate's Court of the 10th of November shows, the first two pages, and then the exchanges in court on this issue together with the ruling by the Magistrate that the uh, accused, Mr. Yambo, is in fact discharged in terms of section 174. Okay. Is it okay if I just put those three pages? Mr. Um, your Lordship, I don't think that would reflect everything that happened in court. Um, I think it would be desirable to, it's not a lengthy record, the proceedings are not lengthy, just to produce the proceedings as they are. All right, well, what I can then do is um, I, I will then maybe just say, make the record available and then it, so that he has it before on Monday before he starts re-examination. I give you an opportunity. You, yeah, yeah. So that then we all have that opportunity. You have made copies of the entire record. Mm -hmm. Monday just before he starts with re-examination, I'll, I'll hand him over to you. Look, may, I, may I make this point? Mm -hmm. The reason... I wanted to place this on record, my Lord, is there was an objection that there wasn't a discharge in terms of Section 174. That was the essence of the objection. Now, I have no problem, my Lord, if one doesn't have the information that an officer of the court, and you object because you don't have the information, you say, I don't know. But then you are given the information and you say, well, I want, I'm not happy about the way you went about this. That's not how officers of the court ought to conduct themselves. And that's, that's the reason I am making an issue of it, my Lord. Because it was a simple matter. It, it's there, it's in the court record. It says 174. But I, I will do that, my lord. But th it is necessary, my lord, that because this is going to be a long trial, that we understand what the boundaries are within which the different sides should operate. But I just place that on record again. But, but my lord, I, I take what your lordship has said into account, mm -hmm. and I, uh, I will make the record of the proceedings available uh, Lord, it's, it's the greenness in my heart says that to print 50 odd pages is, is not uh, is, is, is not 
good for the environment. May I make this uh, the the record of the magistrate's proceedings are divided into two. One is the guilt of accused number one, that's Mr. Yambo, and then the sentencing in regard to that issue. Is it okay if I printed up to page 20, which reflects the magistrate's pronouncement on the guilt, plus what's recorded by the magistrate in regard to the guilt? Un unfortunately, I don't know. I don't even have a clue. Y yes. Of no, 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 what, I yeah, of what, So for me to say this is okay, it, it, it's... No, I, it's, I understand. Yeah. Uh, I, we, we will print the whole. Yeah. All right. Um, so we will stand down to Monday morning at 10 o'clock. Yes, please. 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 Yes,